Learn English through storytelling. Koi turanchi tanya sorara lavari. Hello everyone. Today I come up with another fresh episode of Learning English and this time it is Learning English through storytelling. Barkan ku dai jama'a yau ma dai nazo muku da wani sabon shiri na koyen turanci amma a wannan karan koyen turanci ne ta hanyar sauraron labari This story I am about to tell you is not actually created by me Wannan labarin da zan gaya muku ba ni ne na kirkire shi ba The story was actually told by Maryam Lemu on her official Facebook page Maryam Lemu ce ta bada wannan labarin a dandalinta na sada zumunta na Facebook Listen attentively because the story has a moral lesson. Ku saurara da kyau saboda labarin yana da darasi. Let's begin. I would like to tell you a story about the artist and apprentice. Ina so na ba ku wani labari ne akan wani mai zane da dalibin sa. Once upon a time in a far far away land, long long ago. Wata rana a can wata kasa mai nisa nisa a wani lokaci mai tsau. There was a little boy who was taken to the master painter in the whole land. Anyi wani yaro karami wanda aka dauke shi aka kashi wajen wani kwararren mai fanti a duk kasar. He was the best that you could find anywhere. Over the year, this boy started to develop an amazing skill, drawing spectacular pieces. Tsawon shekara wannan yaran sai ya fara habaka fasaha mai ban mamaki. Yana zane kala kala na ban mamaki. Then one day the master invited him. Wata rana kawai sai wannan mai gidan nasa ya kira shi. And he told him, "Young man, I have finished teaching you everything I possibly can. It is time for you to go out into the real world." Sai ce masa, "Samari, na koyar da kai duk wani abu da ya kamata in koyar da kai." Yanzu lokaci yayi da ya kamata ka tafi zuwa duniyar gaskiya. And the boy looked a bit puzzled then he said, "How do I know if I am that good?" Sai yaron ya dan dimo ce sai yace, "Ta za ya ingane cewa na isa." Then he asked the young painter, "Get a canvas and paint his most spectacular masterpiece." Sai yace da wannan sauran yara, "Ya je ya samu canvas, sannan ya zana painting zane na gwaninta." and the young apprentice did just that it took him several days sai wannan dalibin yayi wannan aikin ya dauke shi tsawon kwanaki da yawa but he made the most beautiful piece of art you have ever seen and brought it to his master amma yayi dan dare ran zanan da ba taba gani ba sannan ya kawo shi wajen ubangidan sa the master asked him to get an easel and take the compass to the marketplace mai gidan ya ce nemo allan zane sannan ya dauki compass din ya kai shi kasuwa however he should take the paint brush black paint as well as a cardboard paper where he would write some certain key instructions amma kuma sai ya dauko brushing paint bakin paint tare da babbar takarda wata zai rubuta wasu bayanai akai so the boy took it to the entrance of the marketplace Sai yaron ya dauke shi sai ya kai shi bakin kasuwa. He set up the easel, put the beautiful masterpiece often display for everyone to see. Sai yaron ya sai ta allan zanen nan nasa sannan ya dauko dan dare ran zanen nan na gwanin ta ya saka shi inda kowa zai iya gani. And then set the paint and paint brush next to it. Sannan sai ya saka paint nan da kuma brushing paint kusa da wannan allan. and then he created this message sannan sai ya rubuta wannan sako he was told by his master to write down when gidan sa ya fada masa ya rubuta if you see anything wrong or if you dislike any part of this piece of art put a black dot on it idan ka ga wani abu da ba daidai ba ko kuma akwai wani abu da bai yi maka ba a jikin wannan zanen ka dauki wannan bakin painting kai dugu a jikin wannan zana at the end of the day the young apprentice went back to the marketplace and took his shock and dismay the entire piece was covered in black a karshen wannan rana sai wannan dalibin ya koma kasuwa ya ga abun mamaki da takaici gaba daya wannan aikin nasa a rufe da 
bakin penti uh he was demoralized he was dismayed he was so deflated amuzantashi yayi ta kaisi sannan kuma ya rasa kwarin guyuwa so he took the piece back to the master and was actually in tears to say da ki wannan zanan na sai kai shi wajen ubangidansa yana kuka he said they hate my work i'm not that good say ti sun tsani aiki na ban yi aiki ba he told him to calm down and give him the same set of instructions again to go and paint another spectacular piece sai ti ma sai kwantar da hankalin sa sannan ya kara bashi irin wannan umarnin da ya bashi a baya yace ji sake yin wani kyakkyawan zanan after a few days the young apprentice did just that bayan wasu yan kwanaki dalibin ya kammala wannan aikin and when he brought it back it was just as beautiful as the first piece bayan ya kawo shi shi ma aikin yayi matukar kyau kamar na baya so he took it again to the marketplace as he was instructed to do to say dauki aikin da ya kara kai shi kasuwa kamar dai yanda aka ba shi umarni However, this time around he was told to take white paint and paint brush. Amma sai dai a wannan karan an ce masa ya dauki farin painting da kuma brushing painting. And what he was to write on the note was sannan abin da zai rubuta shine If you like any part of this painting, put a white dot on it. Idan kana san wani bangare daga wannan zanan kai masa dugon fari akai at the end of the day he went back and took his shock and disbelief the entire painting was white karshen wannan rana da ya kara komawa ya gigita sannan kuma ya kase da dada abin da idan sai ya gane masa gaba daya painting yayi fari he was so excited however he was a bit puzzled yayi matukar farin ciki to sai dai kuma abin ya dan tsima shi so he took it back to the master painter and said i don't understand some really like it and some really hate it sai dauki kayan aikin nan gaba daya kai shi wajen me gidansa me painti sai yake cewa ni fa na kasa gane wannan abu wasu na matukar san wannan aikin nawa wasu kuma sun tsane shi he then asked him to do one more assignment sai kara tura hiye kara yin wani aikin he said go once more and paint beautiful masterpiece just like the other two sai yace ka kara koma ka sake yin wani dan dare ranzanan kamar dai yanda kai wa'annan guda biyun na baya and the boy did sai yaran yayi haka when he brought it back he now asked him to get a blank campers and the second easel bayan ya kawo sai ya ce ka wani campers din da ba ai zanan komai ba a jiki sannan sai ya kawo allan sa zane he told him to take it to the entrance of the marketplace sai ya ce masa ya kai shi bakin shiga kasuwa and take a paint brush as well as the whole make of paint that were used to make that piece sannan ka dauki brushing painti tare da duk wani kayan aikin zane da akai amfani da shi wajen yin wannan zanan and the young apprentice did just that sai wannan dalibin yayi wannan abin da aka sashi yayi and this time around the instructions was amma a wannan karan umarnin shine if you don't like any part of this work of art in the blank campus create your own idan baka san wani bangare na wannan zanan ka kirkire na ka dai campus din da babu zanan komai and at the end of the day the young apprentice came back a karshen wannan rana sai wannan saurayi mai koyar zane ya dawo and he was quite surprised yayi matukar mamaki because his masterpiece was intact and the campus he brought was totally blank just the way he left it saboda ba taba wannan kayataccen zanan nasa ba sannan kuma campus din da ya kawo ba ai zanan komai ba a jiki kamar dai yanda ya bar shi so he went back to his master sai ya koma wajen ubangidansa then he said sai yace i am a bit confused i took it 
However, no one seems to be able to replicate what I had done. Na da rude. Na kai wannan aikin amma da alamun babu wani wanda zai iya yin irin abin da ne. He said, "Son, I want you to remember this." Sai ya ce, "Yaro, ina so ka tuna wannan. In life, there are people who will love what you do. There are people who will hate what you do." Akwai mutanen da zasu so abin da kake yi. Sanna akwai mutanen da zasu ki abin da kake yi. There are people who will love the service you offer. There are people who will hate the service you offer. Akwai mutanen da zasu so aikin da kake yi. Sanna akwai mutanen da kuma zasu tsana aikin da kake yi. However, if you are authentic and if you make sure each and every time in all your interactions, in everything you do, you produce your best masterpiece then you have nothing to worry about idan har kai na kware ne idan ka tabbatar da cewa a kowane lokaci a duk mu'amalar ka a duk wasu abubuwa da kake yi iya bakin kokarin ka kai aiki mafi kyau to ba ka da wani abin damuwa remember this those who do hate and criticize your work most likely won't be able to replicate what you do ka tuna da wannan duk wayanda suke tsana kuma suke sukar aikin ka ba lalle ne su iya yin irin abin da kai kake yi ba so focus on creating your best masterpiece each and every time dan haka ka mai da hankali wajen yin aikin ka na bajinta a kowane lokaci please subscribe dan Allah ku yi subscribing